Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Hey Monday. Hi. Hi there. How's it going? Hello. Good. How's it going? Good. You guys want to introduce yourself? I'm Cassidy. I'm Mike. I'm Jersey. I'm Alex. And Elliot's not here, but he plays drums. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to The Rave. This Thank is your you. second time here. It you guys is. got a chance to walk through the building at all yet? Yes, we have. Um, I think our dressing room is actually right by the pool. So last time we played here with the Academy as We the Kings, we weren't really allowed to go down there. But um, that's where our dressing room is, so we get to kind of explore and stuff. It's pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Well, you get that chance today. I mean, you know, Definitely. you're right there. You yeah, gotta, you gotta do it. might as well. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, you guys have an amazing opening slot and one of the biggest tours this year. Can you tell us about how that came about? Um, we're actually on Pete Wentz's label, Decadence, and they're looking for a band to take out. And, you know, any chance that he gets, he really just helps us out. And he's a really great word of mouth guy. So I guess it was his chance to really just put us out there and, and kind of set us up for our next tour, our headliner. And, um, you know, what better way than to take us out with Fall Out Boy? So. There has been huge crowds at each of the shows. I mean, how has the response been from the fans? It's been really good. We're like, just really surprised about how fast and rapidly our music's been spreading to the public. Like, we weren't really expecting much, you know, since we're the opener and our album's only been out since October. Um, but surprisingly, the kids have been just going absolutely nuts every night. There's some crowds are better than others, but most of the time, you know, everybody's just reacting really well to it. It's great. All right. Um, and last time you're here at the Rave, as you said, is what the Academy is. I mean, like, getting on these huge tours, I mean, that just must really help out your fan base. Hey, I mean, and do you get to interact directly with the fans at the shows, or? Um, sometimes it's kind of hectic, and we have to leave right after the show um, to get to the next place, because we'll have, like, a radio show in the morning or something, like, press, um, stuff like that. But when we have a chance to hang out, we definitely like to go out and hang out with fans, you know. A few, a few times on this tour, Mike and I would go out and play an acoustic set after the shows. And, um, you know, we hang out at the merch table sometimes. It just all depends on, like, if it's workable or not. Sometimes it's just, like, too crazy and hectic to, to organize anything, and we'll just go up to a fence and sign through a fence, you know. So it's fun. Yeah. I'll try to get a picture with them when you can. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Great. So you guys are now going to be headlining your own tour, and you're coming here to the Rave on June 24th. Yes. So stoked about that. I mean, you know, It's going to be crazy. We're kind of nervous, um, you know, after this tour, we really just are hoping that it helped us create a bigger fan base to be able to fill out these venues on our headliner. You know, we're taking out this Providence, um, the Bigger Lights, the Friday Night Boys, and Stereo Skyline. And um, it, was, it was funny because, like, a little while ago, we were just on tour with with this Providence, and we did a little tour with the Friday Night Boys and the Bigger Lights also. And you know, we we're starting to become really good friends with Stereo Skyline. So I think it'll be a really really fun tour. It's going to be like a true test of you know how far we've come over the past year. I think. Nice. All right. So speaking about how far you've come, tell us about Hold On Tight. Your current album. Hold On Tight is our freshman album, and we're pretty proud of it. You know, we, we went to the studio with Sam Hollander and Dave Katz in New York City. Um, we weren't really sure what to expect, you know, what to get out of it. Like, we just went in with a few acoustic songs that, um, that we wrote. Um, we pretty much just reworked all of them, learned a lot about, you know, the writing process and recording process, and we came out with just like a really fun, happy, relatable record and I think that's what we wanted but um, I think it came out just like way bigger than we thought you know the sound is pretty um, just like I don't know it's it could relate to people our age younger older and um, hopefully you know people see that okay. All right. so uh, tell us about how you love me now your current single well um, we just shot a video for it okay. and um, it's really cool I don't know if you've had the chance to see it that's not a video yet so <laughs> tell, us, tell me about it well, it's basically uh, we work at like a resort, like a beach resort, and um, Cass gets hit on by like this snobby like jock dude, and he's like trying to impress her the whole time, and like we're like serving kids at the resort, and then there's like an obstacle course, and like a bunch of little games and stuff, and then it closes with like um, like a beach performance scene at night, and it's really cool, and like the stage, and there's like Hey Monday, and like these bright lights and letters and stuff and it's just a cool video and we're we're really happy with the way that it came with the song itself. We <coughs> said it's um we 
came out with a soft single first, Homecoming. And then this is a single that we're hoping to like really push and like get us out there. So just a happy like pop rock song. Yeah, we co-wrote that song with Butch Walker also. Where was the video shot? In Delray Beach, Florida. And it's, it's kind of like in the area that we're from. So all our friends and family came out and it was so much fun. The whole day on the beach and at night, it's just like got a like really nice uh, temperature and we all just hung out. It was good. Actually, we got home from Japan, like, or not Japan. Where did we come from? New Zealand? I think it was our last few dates. We came from New Zealand and I think all of us were up um, 24 hours during during that video so we were like wiped but it was still fun yeah like the first day it started we started at like what eight or nine yeah and we didn't finish up shooting that day until like two yeah. in the morning and then we had to go the next day at like 12 and yeah. finish the video. it was just crazy but it was awesome we were way awesome. off schedule <laughs> <laughs> all right so this one goes out to each of you what's one thing on the road that you must have or go like die without walmart <laughs> Chicken nuggets and fish sticks. Mm, nice. <clears throat> My phone. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with either my computer or makeup. Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, so I understand you guys are about to hit the UK in a little bit, right? And then come back here to the US? Yeah, it's gonna be with We The Kings and we're hitting a few you know, places in the UK. And then it's gonna be awesome because we get to go back to Japan. We were just there. In, uh, in February, and we're going with Metro Station, so we get to hang out with them again. And then after that, the headliner, and after that, we have a few things that are in the works, but nothing confirmed, but it, it should be good. Awesome. Well, that's great. Wish you guys the best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you for hanging out with us today. Of course. Of course. For the show. All right. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. Make sure to check out Hey Monday's latest CD, Hold On Tight. We'll see you next time on the Rave TV.